Okay, what I did on my summer vacation. Um, this is one of our two vacuum flush toilets we have on the boat, and it sounds a little echoey because I'm in the uh, in the head in the washroom. And uh, issue we've uh, had over the last couple of days is that the vacuum pump for the vacuum flush toilet keeps coming on all by itself, and the bowl is draining away. So what has happened is the seal is gone in that toilet, so I'm going to replace that now. It's a real simple procedure. I've actually done it once a couple years ago. I don't know why this thing is already gone. I guess it dries out, whatever. But anyways, it's a real simple fix. This kit is $40, of course, because it's marine, right? For a piece of rubber and a piece of Teflon. So it's just those two pieces. That rubber uh, goes on the top and then the um, Teflon piece, which actually slides over the uh, clamshell to for the flushing action goes on the bottom this goes on top line that up it's easy peasy okay now I have uh, shut off the water system in the boat as well as the um, the uh, vacuum pumps for the toilets just one switch on the main DC panel and that uh, kills the power to the both of them. These things are fully automatic, so once the power's on, the vacuum pump comes on as needed. Obviously, every time you flush, or in this case, when the seal is leaking. Um, and then it just comes on as needed, so it's a real simple procedure to work. So now, I'm going to go in there. You take, uh, remove the foot pedal, which is for the flushing action as well as uh, this cover plate on the bottom and then it's just real simple it's just one big giant um, o-ring or sorry not an o-ring but a, a hose clamp flathead screwdriver give it a couple of spins and this whole thing will pop off and then I'll just set that to the side in the uh, shower stall in case there's any little water in it and then um, show you what it looks like with that seal Okay, step one is to remove the cover for the foot pedal, which are just two uh, Phillips head wood screws that go through. So that's it, that's it, and that's all there is to that procedure. the side in the shower and then this cover comes off thusly again just another uh, wood screw just single folks head wood screw that goes through this plastic shroud on the bottom and this thing just opens up like that that piece. Now this is nice and clean. <laughs> I say that because when I did this a couple years ago, um, being a washroom in a toilet, you can imagine what had spilled down the sides over the previous number of years. And so that got a super uber cleaning. So it's, it's all good now. And then we have simply a flat head screw which is on to this side of course you could use a socket set so uh, probably quarter inch or five sixteenths socket that flathead screwdriver works just as well for this square head doing the job so there's those two pieces Again, they just clamp around the whole uh, procedure there. I'm going to set that in the shower stall. Now this should just pop right off. Look at that. Just give it a little bit of water. Now this water line that's here, look at that. My wife's got all these smelly things back here. This one. 
is like a pressure fitting. And so we just have a simple hose clamp on the water line and pull up screwdriver. Loosen that on. Drop that out of the way. I feel my foot starting to get wet. That's it, that's that hose right there at the side comes the water supply, of course. Set the toilet off to the side, conveniently into the shower stop. And, sorry, that was me. Just a uh, point of reference, we are sitting at a dock up on Georgian Bay. That's why I started this with what I did on my summer vacation. Okay, so. Simply, we have, let me just go back to my viewfinder here, see what this looks like. Okay. So simply, we have a couple of biscuits. Oh, you see, this is a different style. This is the one I replaced before. I don't know if you can see that, but this is like a hard plastic piece. And that uh, little doohickey in there. And all this is just simply a clamshell that just opens each time. So what I'm going to do here is take advantage of the fact that this is open. A little bit of glass cleaner. You clean that off. It says right on the instructions it recommends. I probably can't see anything behind my big bulky body. But see that clamshell action there? Woohoo! Real easy peasy. Yeah, anyways, it says right in the instructions, just clean this off. You know, there's, uh, you know, calcium and lime from the water and everything else that's discharged down into here, building up on it. So it helps with the seal. So, now, first of all, there's this Teflon seal. Mark this side up. And that lines up. There's a little uh, tab on the side the gasket as well as on here see and that just sits over like that and then the rubber gasket it's not marked side up or down it doesn't really matter because that's just going to cushion the thing and you see that wow it's nice and fluid the motion beautiful and that's it so again I'm just gonna dry up this area spilled a little bit of water when the toilet came on. Clean it up and then I'll set the toilet back on. But you see, woohoo, that's all there is to it. Of course, once the vacuum pumps on, that creates the vacuum will create the seal along with the water that sits on top of it. And that's the uh, issue that we were having here that seal was no longer sealed. And so the water was just draining through, which was causing the uh, vacuum pump to come on. Okay, now I'm just going to set the toilet back on. The gasket looks like it's in a nice spot. The toilet simply sits on that. <laughs> the toilet simply sits on its own. Put the water line back in. Which is, again, just a rubber hose onto a plastic fitting. Hose clamp. And that's all that means. The most difficult part of this job is just working in the tight confines. Okay, the line should be good. And is a quick clean.
Like I say, these pieces just simply hook together, one to the other, like that, and then the hose clamp goes around that and holds it in place. That just snags the toilet bowl to the pedestal that it's sitting on. And they just kind of go like a beast. Yeah, okay, and so these things just go back together like that, and it's marked front to front. They kind of lock in. They're interlocking at the front side anyways. Line them up. So they just wrap around the bowl. Making sure the bowl is lined up in the little tab that's here. Where the cutouts were on the uh, gaskets. So just gotta reach around. That's the one. That's the two. They just slide together. And then hose them and clamp them. They're together and the hose clamp is on. Now simply tighten that hose clamp. Now the clamp itself where the where the set screw goes in. I'm gonna put it at the back so that once um, the uh, decorative cover goes around to cover up the base is on. I think it has more room at the back. So I slid, slid that around. Let's just make sure the toilet looks lined up and square to this cabinetry. Okay. That's all painting up. Now we can turn the water back on. Check up a leak. Again, I just spilt a little bit of water on it to put the toilet off. Okay, turn the water on. Okay, water's on. Sorry, toilet keep the pedal down. again. Okay, water lines look good. Now I'm going to actually turn the, the pump itself on for the uh, vacuum flush and see how that works. Okay I can hear the pump running for this uh, toilet. Now it's building vacuum and then once that shuts down I'll uh, give her a shot. So good. And then a quick wipe in here. Getting the grubby paw prints off. So that's that. Okay, then it's just a matter of uh, simply reinstalling oops, this decorative uh, cover. It's like a little shroud. around the base, line it up around the uh, foot pedal, one screw, that. and then the pedal, and that just slides over top of the uh, metal arm that comes out of here, just to make it look pretty. back in business <laughs> both literally and figuratively voila looks good appears that the vacuum is holding nicely uh, I'll check this in another you know, half an hour or so and just make sure it's all good but I think uh, we're, we're good to go now so all in all even with my fooling around and cleaning behind there and everything else 
I don't know, maybe a 20 minute project, uh, clearly an easy do it yourself type of job. But I would recommend if you have an opportunity, do this when you're at your home dock. Uh, my only issue here has been not a big one, but we are we're in holiday on holidays right now. Like I said, and uh, we're on a floating dock, so and we're right a main thoroughfare up on Georgian Bay. So every time the big boats go by, the inconsiderate ones that don't slow down, they're getting bounced around a little bit. I actually have to tape up the uh, the toilet seat cover so it didn't clunk me in the head. But now that that's done, off can go the tape. And we're done.